These potatoes are just so uniquely delicious. And more crevices for more drawn butter. <laughs> and of course, more cheese. Yes, oh, this is the perfect side dish for the perfect meal. It really, <laughs> yeah, really I love is. it. Yay. I love these potatoes. Me too, uh, and I'm Chris. And I'm Wesley. My Fantastic <laughs> Yes, that's right. Woo. Wait, and the other thing I love about these potatoes what? is they originated in Scandinavia. <laughs> in Sweden. In Sweden. They did. They I did. am a Scandinavian. I know. I tell you, you <laughs> serve these with uh, some Swedish meatballs and oh, it's a party. Wow. But they are actually fantastic. So they're great any time of the year, but it's happened to be, the, it's like Thanksgiving this yes. time of the year right now. So it, we're always looking for something new to do and this is something new and exciting. So let's yes. get to it. Yes. First of all, you get prepping those potatoes. Yeah, look at these big old russets. We're going to do four of them today because I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> well, what am I eating? So, uh, well, you can have okay, one. I, have I guess you can have one of these. Thanks. All right. So what I want to do first is I want to get these so that they're, they, they're not moving. So they I want to wobble. wobble. Yeah. So I just want to cut off the bottom. Be careful. The loon's got, I got a knife. It, I got I it. I know. There I you know. go. Look at that. That's awesome. That's a great yeah, way to do save, save that, that for that up, fries. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> fry that up later. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Now I've got two chopsticks. This will ensure that I don't cut all the way down through the potato because we want to do little slices and all we the want way to, You want to leave it intact so it's kind of like a, yeah. I don't know, what's an example? Like a football that's been fanned. That's <laughs> exactly. a bad analogy. Look at this. No, so I'm just going to slowly see it stops. The, uh, the 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 uh, chopstick stops me from cutting. You don't have food. chopsticks, which you know a lot of us don't. Uh, you could also use if you've got like dowel rods. You could use even the back of wooden spoons. Just and you can even eyeball it, but it, it just does kind of help you. I'm okay. terrible at this though. No, and you're like, not. It goes so slow. And it doesn't have to be perfect. It yes. does not have to be perfect. Okay. Yes. While he's doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and make the the topping. It's a very basic topping. So the really cool thing about these, you can adapt them in so many different ways. We're doing just a very nice traditional with like a, 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 I'm gonna show you this topping. I've got some cheese, this is parm cheese. Um, that's about a, a tablespoon and a half of grated parm cheese. I've got two <laughs> tablespoons, how's it going? I am fine, I get so nervous. Don't be nervous. And so I've got two tablespoons of just some good old dried breadcrumbs, Italian style. I've got, I have fresh herbs are great, especially in, <clears throat> during the holidays. That's a teaspoon. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, fresh thyme. Oh, I'm kind of going at a slant on this one. <laughs> That's, okay. That's okay. I mean, you know, it's okay. As long as it got the crevices to catch all that <laughs> bottom. The great thing is, is that when these <laughs> bake, they kind of like fan open a little bit. Yeah. So anyway, I've got these herbs. So. This is a pretty basic um, topping, but it gets nice and crunchy and delicious. And so, and I'm going to add a pinch of salt in here too. All right. So then. But what I was going to say, if I could stop coughing. Yeah, what's wrong with you? <coughs> Excuse me, I think I got some breadcrumbs in my, in my old throat. Um, All right, so what were you going to say? I was going to say you could also, do, if you're doing Italian, you could do like put prosciutto down there and you could have some pesto. If you're doing Mexican, Ooh, you could do pesto. like some, oh, like some good old Mexican cheese and put top it with salsa. It's, you can adapt it to any way you like. Okay, so now I have got some butter here, a couple tablespoons of melted butter, and we are going to start this yummy process. You don't have to completely, because um, they're not going to open up as easily right now. They will a little later. Yeah, once don't worry, we're going to add more butter. Oh yeah, this is just the, <laughs> the beginning of the butter. <laughs> anyway, then, and then I'm going to just hit them with just a little bit of salt on top. You want to kind of prime open a little bit. It's 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 tempting or it's, it's fun to do that. So, okay, so we're going to continue doing this. These are so much fun Yay. too, and oh, it's, that makes me nervous. I'm did, such, I'm horrible with a knife. No, look at that. Look, I, I feel like it's. Oh, oh Chris. Well, okay, be careful. You might do that. <laughs> that one's yours. No, I know. I, I can't know. believe it's, you ruined it. I didn't it. ruin it. It stayed together. I was gonna say it's kind of like a, what are the, the or a, a slinky? A slinky. <laughs> Get the kids involved, they'll love it. Yes. Okay, so you now. You can split that one in half for the kids. Yes, yes. <laughs> and you, this recipe can so easily be doubled, it can be tripled, it's great. Okay. You're so all buttery. I'm buttery, I'm buttering you up. All right. So now what we wanna do, we've got our oven preheated to 375 <laughs> degrees. Does this remind you of uh, tanning in the 80s? <laughs> 
<laughs> yes, me and my <laughs> sister on the roof. <laughs> I can't believe you did that, and you're still you're still here to talk about it, which is good. Okay, and so, baby oil, and baby oil. Oh my gosh, <laughs> baby okay. oil and tin foil. Yeah, yeah. Uh, right, okay, so now you want to cover that tightly, and we're gonna let that cook, and it's gonna kind of steam in there, and it's gonna go for 45 minutes, and then that's gonna they're not gonna be fully cooked. Then we're gonna take them out, take the foil off, and let them go for about another 15, 20 minutes, and then we're gonna have this amazing topping. Yay! so excited <laughs> oh my gosh okay so oh look at these Wesley these wow. are so great so we let these go for 45 minutes and then I took them out and I took off the top layer of foil and then I just put them in for another 15 minutes so that it's an hour of baking those and, look uh, fabulous they uh, Here, should be leave those on for a second we want to move this oh this okay way. should be yeah. uh, very very tender at this point it's been an Yay. hour so that's perfect so Wesley has some <laughs> Ow, it's so hot. You're so tired. <laughs> has uh, loves serving these in little individual. These are so cute. <laughs> they are fun and they are festive. You could, you don't have to do them this way. We, we bought them for another dish, and they, we were like, "Wow, those are super small. Those will never work." And and so I've been dying to use them. <laughs> I know, I know. And so they're perfect for baked potatoes. Sometimes you, I have a link to these um, in the description and in the blog. These are yeah, sticking here yeah, a here. little bit. Um, you, go, you, go, oh. you know what I just realized? <laughs> you know, you're watching us. Um, I was supposed to have oh spray sprayed this, so and that helps. So this one happened. See, you learn when you watch <laughs> how to feed a loon, like what not to do. It's okay, but you can see there's there no go. look at that nothing that can't be fixed. Oh, look at those ridges, y'all. They All are right. so beautiful. So. Um, Anyway, yeah, so you not. can leave this on just a regular, uh, you're on and not put them in, in dishes like this, but it's, it's so much fun to do this. Okay, <laughs> so now we're gonna work as a team. So now we're going to like just fill this incre incredible topping. I'm just kind of, kind of open just kind of do a little, a little bit. Just do it as we go yeah, here. There yeah, there you yeah. go. <laughs> so again, these are so much fun to serve. Uh, they're kind of different. Um, go ahead and open uh, up a little bit. Open more. it up more. Uh, okay. Just, you know, more. To just serve. Just kind of do it like an accordion. Yeah, yeah, to, uh, to serve. Um, it's something different for Thanksgiving um, or any kind of holiday party. Uh, so we have to tell, you know, we always love to tell you a little story. So we, <laughs> when I first really, really started really seriously getting into cooking and just becoming obsessed with it, was in our early days in, in New York City. 1990. 1990. Oh, and uh, we were- um, Our first ever apartment. It was just ours. No roommates, no anybody. It was super tiny. And it was in the West it Village. It was in the West Village. And it, was, it really was the size of a box. And uh, But I was like bound and determined. And my mom, who was a wonderful cook, she'd always done uh, Thanksgiving. And so I called her and I said, Mom, I, I'm doing it. I'm, I'm all into cooking now and I want you to give me all the tricks. And um, so we made a full on. Full on. Full on Thanksgiving meal. We, this is typically, a more. if you're gonna do this for like eight, we we would be a little more meticulous with, meticulous with this and get them more in the crevices. But anyway, <laughs> point being, we have a little left, yeah. a little left over. Yeah, and but more anyway, butter, we got more butter. So now you're just gonna wanna, I normally would spoon this, but in the, um, in this. the matter of time, we're just gonna. Yeah, you wanna, so that first Thanksgiving, there was four of us that we fit into that There little were four apartment. of us, and we made a full-on turkey. But it turned out so good, and it just from that day on, Thanksgiving became such a, an amazing, um, I, I don't know, there's just something so special about it. Of course, our love affair of food helps, but there's something about with the family and the friends being together, it really is just super special. And... Um, <laughs> So he's stretching. He's <laughs> I'm not. I'm talking. I'm talking about my favorite holiday of the year. So now what I've done right now, as we speak, I turned the broiler on high, and you're still gonna want. I just had that on the medium uh, rack, so you can leave it on that same rack. You wanted about oh I don't know six inches from the broiler that I have on high, Look at and it's that. just gonna go for about six minutes until it gets nice and crispy on top, and then we're naturally gonna top it with more butter. More butter. <laughs> and it's time to eat. Here, move it or lose it. <laughs> okay, it is the time of Hasselback. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. Those look so good, y'all. So elegant and so wonderful. Oh, I'm so happy. I just, I'm going to give you one right here. Oh, my. You can just let people, uh, you can put these on their plates and so they don't have to handle hot plates if you want. I'm going to just do this so I can uh, do something. You got it. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now, I'm super <laughs> excited about this. this Y'all, 
Look at that. And just so you know, you can get all of this done ahead of time, um, the slicing and all. Just, okay, you ready for a little uh, butter? Yeah, please. No, I'm not ready for a little butter. <laughs> That's, I will talk about it. A little more. Time. Okay. Come on, Chris. You gotta oh, swim in butter with this I thing. I know, I know. Okay. <laughs> and now we're gonna hit it with just a little bit of parsley because oh, you know yay. it's pretty. And then it's it's baked but it's basically baked potatoes, so I love a little extra I salt. I love it. All right. I thought we had some chives too. We it's in the it is in the uh, Oh it's in it's the, the, the top. Okay. I sometimes I save the chives and sprinkle a little more on top. But um <laughs> I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Y'all, these are so good. These are so good. They are. And it's crazy. my own little potato. <laughs> Nobody like else's. It's like your own little Idaho. <laughs> your own little Idaho potato. Are we ready? I, I think gonna, so. I'm, oh, wow. These are perfect, Chris. Yeah. Oh, wow. And see, what? because they've got that, like the little ridges, they all, the insides just get that, have that exposed oh, ex exterior yes. so they get a little crunchy. You just cut right through that, Chris. And I'm, I got a little butter going on. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. I am oh. salivating. I know, I'm just about ready to um, explode. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. Hold! Oh. Baked potatoes everywhere are so jealous. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? That is nuts! <laughs> that is so good! I gotta have some more. I'm too excited for this. I mean, the turkey is gonna be like, hey, what about me? Oh, I am, I am, yeah. Who needs a turkey when you got this little <laughs> baked potato right here? Oh my, one more, wait, hold, hold. That is so good. I just gotta, oh yeah, okay. The ever versatile potato, oh. the spud. They're delicious. That topping, that crunchiness, that butter. That is 10,000% Luna Bro! I had a sneaky suspicion. <laughs> you guys, this is so much fun to make. It's something a little different. Yeah. You can get a lot of it done ahead of time. Your guests are gonna love you. Subscribe to us and have a happy Thanksgiving. Or whatever time <laughs> of the year it is. Bye everybody, we love you. Gobble, gobble, gobble! <laughs>